The newest robot from MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Lab is a fish named Sophie, designed to help us explore the deep. I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, and let's take a look at this. As I'm sure you're aware, the ocean is a pretty deep, dark, and mysterious place. In fact, we know more about the surface of the moon than we do what's under the waves on our own planet. And that goes for certain creatures that live in the deep as well. Unlike certain Instagram stars, they do not hang around and wait for photographs. And that's why the researchers designed Sophie the way they did. Unlike a traditional UAV that runs either with a propeller or a water jet, Sophie actually swishes its tail back and forth. To achieve this, the entire tail section of the robot is made from silicone rubber. In this tail section, it contains two bladders that a pump pushes water in and out of, back and forth. And this is what causes that swimming motion, like a normal shark or fish would. Another thing that's different about Sophie is that it runs without a tether. This robot is powered by a lithium polymer battery, just like the one you find in your smartphones. This currently gives Sophie about 40 minutes worth of swim time, which isn't all that great, but as battery technology improves and as they refine Sophie more, it will get better. And in the future, they can even possibly attach a self-charging feature, maybe have the fish surface so it can catch a solar charge. This robot can swim in the direction that is pointed autonomously and even avoid obstacles, but they do still have a controller set up to make fine-tune adjustments to its path take photographs, or to make it dive and surface. And yes, you see it right, that is a Super Nintendo controller that runs this fish. And even that controller is part of this breakthrough. They designed a new system of using ultrasonic waves to control this robot underwater. They specifically designed this ultrasonic communication device to be as non-disruptive as possible in order to not disturb the animals they are trying to photograph. And while this first test was a success, there are always improvements that can be made. And this team is looking to improve the pump that runs the tail. They'd like to see more speed and versatility out of it. And they're also seeking improvements on the dive system to make it so it's more precise and quicker going up and down. The beauty of Sophie is because it's mostly 3D printed, all these changes can be prototyped on the fly and put to the test. There are also plans to write an AI program that will allow this fish to autonomously follow other fish just by using its camera. And once they have all that worked out, there are plans to put together a school of these fish. And according to Robert Catchman, he's the lead author of the paper and lead on the team, we view Sophie as a first step towards developing almost an underwater observatory of sorts. It has the potential to be a new type of tool for oceanic exploration and to open up new avenues for uncovering the mysteries of marine life. Now that sounds like a pretty good goal to me. I just hope that when one of these underwater robotic fish get eaten, they catch it on video. So now what do you think? Is Sophie up to the task of exploring the deep unknown? Can we really peer into the abyss with this fish? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to click that like button and if you're new here, subscribe so you know when I put out something new. Videos usually come out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I hope to see you here again soon. And until next time, just have fun and be safe.